Hello everybody, okay, over here what we have done so far is we have removed rust over here. Um, we used one of these devices to do that, which you will fit into a drill. And um, we also poured oil into the cylinders. So now what's happening is the oil is supposed to sweep uh, through the holes into the sump. So it's going to oil everything so that, because this thing is um, rusted in such a position that we cannot move it anymore. Okay, so we have to work on that. What we have accomplished, this was the thing that was rusted the most. And... Um, what we have accomplished to do is clean this thing out a little bit. Maybe it needs a little bit more cleaning and we can, I can work on that a little bit later on. Um, but it's working. This is the compression lever um, that is supposed to be at the back like that. So it's, I want to say, operational. Uh, so that is what we have done so far. Um, also... There was a lot of rust inside of this. And this is where the firmester comes in. And I've taken it out. And it was like, where is this firmester? Let me quickly have a look. This is what is left <laughs> of the firmester. Not a lot left. Okay. So we have to replace this. This engine block is currently in the trailer. We have to move it out so that we have space to work on it um, also something that has to happen so there's a lot of things that has to happen um, this I've also cleaned this thing but was now sort of a, a problem was especially on this side might need even a little bit more um, work over there but there was a lot of little rust pieces not even so little and I was afraid that that can go into any hole somewhere because you've got really small little holes everywhere for water to go through. So I also cleaned that out so uh, and cleaned this whole thing so far. Um, okay, so the way that I cleaned this, whew, there's still a lot of stuff coming off over there. You see, normal flat screw dryer. Uh, and uh, there we go a big piece that just now came off so um, a lot of cleaning up I thought it was actually I thought I was finished over there but clearly I was not so you see okay so let's see there we go you can see a lot of rust coming out of this um, what is strange about this is you will see there's a lot of material still left, a lot of uh, metal still left. Um, according to my understanding, uh, if metal rusts it or iron, it becomes six times bigger. So it's this, only a sixth of it is gone from this uh, unit over here. Okay, what I to loosen up this thing, um, what we have done is, guys, you use a hammer, but you should not hammer this very hard. Okay, it's just to loosen up the rust so that the oil can go into the gaps. So this is what you need to do sometimes, but it's just a ticking. It's just to, to, to break up the rust a little bit. Uh, to do that. So that was part of what we had to do over here to get this thing loose. And now this thing was the thing that was the um, most rusted thing that we had on this whole engine. And at this stage it's fairly good. Um, I also you had to use a screwdriver over here inside to loosen up these things. And the rockers you will see doesn't move at all. And you know, this was now after I've actually sprayed oil all over it and it did move in the past, but started to rust again because it was standing for a while. So yeah, um, 
So this thing, we have to dismantle this whole thing. Um, I'm going to attempt to remove this bolt over there. Um, so that this water pump can be removed and we can look at the seals because this was the big problem. You can even see on the outside the rust over there that it caused. Yeah. Now after oiling it, we have to wait a while for the oil to penetrate into the small cracks. Um, this is a water pipe, so I'm just using a garden hose. This garden hose fits directly onto this and we open up the water and just check. First time I've done this, a lot of water, a lot of rust came out of it. Uh, it's now clean, so there we go.